Hello, I am Dr. Vishnu, Vishnu Rao, a consultant in allergy and asthma. My hospital is situated in Hyderabad, a state of Andhra Pradesh, India. This hospital name is Swasa Hospital. Swasa means breathe. This is a hospital which is allergy, asthma, special care and research center. We see all types of allergy, asthma cases here in this center, catering all age groups of the patients. So children and uh, infants, children, teenage, adults, young adults and elderly. With this asthma throughout the world, more than 300 million people are suffering with asthma. In India, it is more than 5 crores of people are suffering with asthma. Asthma begins in childhood. As you all know or I don't know, but allergy and asthma begins in childhood. Then it grow like a plant and become a tree. Allergy starts like a small plant and it it keep on uh, crossing so many stages and becomes a tree that is called asthma allergy how it starts if any one of the parent is having allergy parents or grandparents or whoever then these genes will be carried to the children the main thing in children what allergy and asthma could do for children is first it disturbs the growth of the child second activities of the child and third is the studies of the child which are the essence of the childhood so it takes away all the happiness the uh, all the happiness of the childhood and growth will be stunted if asthma is not treated in children in a proper time by the proper drugs if you go to the symptoms or signs of this disease particularly first thing allergy starts in the nose blocking of the nose, itching of the nose, sneezing, watering or some discharge and uh, watering of the eyes, itching of the eyes and some throat problems they keep on doing <coughs> something, some sounds they keep on doing in the throat and if you go down then they, they, here this allergic rhinitis may affect the sinusitis, sinusitis. So there may be heaviness of the sinus, headache may be there and whenever they are exposed to some dust, pollens, fungus, uh, air pollution or whatever, some changes, they get blocked nose and the problem restarts. As far as the chest is concerned, these children have wheezing sounds and cat-like sounds in the throat and uh, children children find difficulty not only children any age group find in difficulty in breathing a uh, troublesome breathing particularly in the midnight or early morning hours so which is episodic it comes and goes off sometimes without medication also so difficulty in breathing and uh, wheezing cat like sounds whenever you do some work children used to play a lot when they play then they get breathless, then they get cough. This is called exercise induced asthma. And even in the adults also, if they go very fast, if they carry some weights, and if they want to lift some weights, if they want to go very fast over the stairs, or uh, if they get emotionally upset, whatever the work they do, they get breathless, they feel bad. The, the, tight, uh, the chest is tightened and they look for the freedom to breathe. 